Hi, my name is Tom Stewart, CEO of Castle Keepers House Cleaning. Over the years, one of the most often asked questions I get is, how should I pay my people? How should I pay my cleaning professionals? Should I pay them hourly? Should I pay them commission? And if I'm going to be paying them commission, what percentages should I be paying them? And those are very good questions to ask, but the answers depend upon a lot of local factors and the business model that, that, that you're using. So if you've ever asked that question or wondered if you've got the best pay plan for your, your, your company or if it is uh, structured in a way to get the, uh, the best outcomes for you, you're in luck because that's what we're going to be talking about here for the next 20 minutes. So I'm going to show you how to do the calculations, how to pull the numbers together so you can figure out if you want to convert from hourly pay to commission or job ticket hour, which is a variation of, of uh, commission. It's another type of incentive pay, how to do that and how to get the numbers right and get the best outcomes. For those of you who don't know me, I've uh, been CEO of Castle Keepers House Cleaning for about the last 25 years. We've got several branches in, in, in different markets, and we run that with a centralized business model. Uh, Derek Christian and I uh, started and run uh, Cleaning Business Today. It's a digital uh, magazine for, for, for the house cleaning industry. We've been doing that for about seven plus years, I guess. Uh, do training and consulting with uh, Liz Trotter and, and, and with Eric Christian and, and, and others as well. Um, I'm founder and CEO of Made Central. It's a software platform for, for larger house cleaning companies. It's comprehensive and it's got uh, basically all the functionality you need built into to one software platform. Um, I also, along with my wife Janice, uh, founded a business called Modern Cleaning about 20 years ago. And it is uh, dedicated to the science of, of, of house cleaning. Uh, we've written some books. We've uh, done a number of training programs over the years. And uh, what we're uh, doing now is we've taken this time during COVID to take some of the material that we've had over uh, over years, actually, and pull it together in a way and put it on an e-learning platform to make it available to cleaning businesses. And I'm going to be telling you about that um, later here in our discussion. So let's talk about uh, three different pay plans that we're going to be talking about today. Hourly pay, everybody knows what that is. You punch in, you punch out, and you get paid for the hours you're on the clock, some type of flat rate. Commission is you take the revenue that your cleaning professionals generate and you give them a percentage of that. And the big question there is what percentage of that revenue do I uh, pay my cleaning professionals? And we're going to tell you that here shortly. Job ticket hour is an incentive pay program where you take the amount of time that you think it should take to clean that house and apply some higher hourly rate than what you would typically apply to your, your clock hours to give them some incentive to say, okay, well, my pay is kind of fixed. So the faster I work, the more I'm making per hour and either the sooner I get done or I get an opportunity to clean another home. There are a lot of advantages to these incentive pay type plans because you're taking away the incentive to stretch the day out. It doesn't really matter how long I'm working, how long I take between homes, or uh, how long I take to clean a home. At the end of the day, I'm getting pay based on what I produce, which will reduce your, your as a company, reduce the amount of overtime that you have to pay and can improve what we call the return on human capital, the amount of revenue your cleaning professionals can generate for you over the course of a week. For both of these types of pay plans, however, there's a lot more uh, calculations that have to be done. You have to do the math on uh, a job by, by job basis. So uh, if you're going to be doing this, it's really helpful to have a good production management system that, that does this uh, math for you. So all you do is click a button at the end of the day and you don't really have to do the math. The, the software would do that for you. Um, it's important to determine the right rates to apply because if you're giving away the wrong percentages or if you're paying the wrong dollar amounts per job hour, you're going to find that either your employees are going to leave because they're not making enough money or you're going to find that you're spending more in payroll relative to the amount of revenue that you're generating than what you can afford. But it all starts with how much money per job on the clock, if you will, 
Should I be paying my cleaning professionals uh, in order to, to be competitive? And there's a couple of ways of doing that. One is to do market research, uh, go to Indeed, go to um, Craigslist, um, look at what your competitors are paying. When people are coming in and applying for you, if they've worked uh, for your competitors, ask them what they were making at their previous jobs. All this gives you some indication. You don't need to be paying uh, a whole lot more than your competitors, but you need to be competitive. If you're paying, uh, you know, a material amount less than your competitors, you're, you're, you're going to have a hard time attracting candidates. Bureau of Labor Statistics, uh, get the website here, www.bls.gov. You can find house cleaning and they will give you uh, from their research what uh, your local market is paying house cleaning professionals. So you start off, you just figure out what is your target hourly rate. Once you know that, there's a couple of other metrics you need to calculate that are going to be based on your clock time and your job time. And you need to be capturing both of these on a regular basis. At least I hope you are. A lot of software or production management software does that for you. If not, uh, people do this like in T-sheets, I guess. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to do it, but there's two metrics that you want to be capturing in your business. What is the clock time? You kind of need that in order to keep the uh, Department of Labor happy. And that's technically when somebody's workday starts mm -hmm. and when it ends. And you can take out for like lunchtime. You don't have to pay for the entire day, but make sure you're complying with uh, your, your local and federal rules. In this example, somebody punches in at eight, works till noon, takes a half hour lunch, punches back in, gets off 4.30. That's eight hours. Those are eight hours on the clock. Job time. This is an example where four homes were cleaned. These orange boxes are homes. Each one of them took an hour and a half. So from eight o'clock, it took them uh, 45 minutes to get to the first house. It took them an hour and a half, clocked out at 10, 15, so on and so forth. This adds up to six hours. So in this example, we had an eight hour work day, clock hours, eight hours, that's six hours of job time actually spent cleaning homes, which means you had two hours left over, which were clock time, but we weren't cleaning, we weren't productive. So as you move forward, the idea is to try to build systems to reduce that amount of non-productive time. So there's a couple of metrics that we're gonna calculate based on, on, on that discussion. First, you wanna figure out what your average revenue per job time is or your job hour. So you look at revenue that you generate per house or per day or some period of time, you take that dollar amount and you divide it by all the job hours, which is the amount of time spent on each one of these jobs, and that's revenue per job hour. Efficiency factor is taking the time in the homes divided by the times worked, taking the job hours divided by clock hours. In this example, we could calculate the efficiency factor by adding up these job hours, which are six, and dividing it by these clock hours, which are eight, which would give you 75%. Once you know average revenue per job hour and efficiency factor, we can do a lot with that. At that point, you're, you, you got all the information you need pretty much, assuming that you know what your, your, your target hourly rate is to calculate your percentages if you wanna do commission or what your hourly rate should be if you wanna jo do job ticket hour. Let's talk about commission because that's a, the most complicated. What you're going to do is take your uh, you, the, the number that you just calculated, your revenue per clock hour, and you're going to multiply it times the efficiency factor. Excuse me, you're going to take your revenue per job hour and multiply it times your efficiency factor, and that gives you your revenue per clock hour. So what you're doing is you're translating your revenue per job hour into revenue per clock hour. And I'm going to give you an example here in a second where that makes sense. But once you know that, then you can get your commission rate just by taking your target hourly rate and dividing it by your revenue per clock hour. Let me show you step by step. Let's pretend that we're doing two person teams because that even makes it a little more complicated. So we've got two cleaning professionals working eight hours at 16 hours on the clock. And this is what we looked at uh, in the other slide. Job hours that we talked about in the other slide, you had four jobs, an hour and a half each, but you got two cleaning professionals. So two people 
one and a half hours, that's three hours per job, four jobs, that's 12 hours. So I take my 12 hours that were job hours divided by my 16 clock hours, that gives me 75% efficiency. So that's how we calculate that. So if you capture your clock time day in and day out, and if you capture your job times for every job you do, you can have an accurate calculation of what this efficiency factor is. And you really wanna know that number because the higher that number, that means the more of your, your salary dollars are going to generating revenue, which is this time in these orange boxes here, as opposed to having people on the clock. Even if you're doing commission, you still have to count for these hours. And if these blue boxes are too big, they're spending too much time looking out of a windshield or in meetings, and at the end of the week, their paycheck is still going to be too small. They're going to say that I'm spending too many hours at work and not making enough money. So you want to keep this efficiency factor high. So once you know that efficiency factor, you then figure out what your average revenue per job hour is. So I'm going to pretend that each one of those jobs was $150. And we're again doing two person teams. So we had three hours tied up in each one of those jobs. So could just take 150 divided by three to get you 50, but we'll go ahead and we'll add the revenue up for the day at $600 for the day divided by the 12 labor hours, $50 per job hour is what we're doing here in this example. So I've got $50 per job hour. I've got a 75% efficiency rate. I've got an average revenue per clock hour of $50. So I take my $50 multiply it times my efficiency factor of 0.75. That gives me 37.50 per clock hour. So for that entire eight hour day that I'm on the clock, including the time I'm looking out of a windshield or in a morning meeting, on the average, the revenue that you're generating is $37.50. So my target pay in this example is $15. So I take my $15 divided by 37.50. That's 40%. So you're giving, in order to get the equivalent of $15 per clock hour, you need to pay 40% of your revenue out in commissions. So if you've got a two person team, then you might do that 20% to each one of your two technicians, or if one of them's a team leader, it might be 22% to them and 18% to their helper. Anyway, you do it, but should add up together to be 40% to give you the, the equivalent of 15. So in the real world, what happens is, once you're doing this, people will find ways to be more productive especially if you provide them with the proper training and the proper tools where they can learn to be more efficient. And what's going to happen is that $15 pay per clock hour is going to go up. But that's going to be awesome for you because you're going to be paying fewer hours, which means you're going to be paying less overtime, and which means you're going to have opportunities to give teams more revenue where you're getting uh, more return off of all your fi fixed assets. If you've got cars, vacuum cleaners, space, whatever, you're going to make a lot more money that way. So job ticket hour is kind of the same deal, but it's really even easier. You got your $15 uh, per clock hour, which is your target. You already know your efficiency factor is 75%. You take your target pay divided by your efficiency factor. In this example, $20 per hour is what you would pay per allowed hour if you're doing job ticket hour. But just as with commission, if you do that, you're going to find that people are going to find ways to be more productive with the right training and the right tools where they're actually going to be making more than $21 or $20 per hour uh, while they're punched into a job, which means they're going to be spending less time on the clock. And that's a, uh, that's a win-win in the long run. You're going to be making more money. Having the right pay plan is really important to getting the outcomes that you're looking for. Um, but that alone is not going to get it. Training is a huge part of making these incentive pay systems work. Um, the program that, that we're offering through Modern Cleaning called the Professional House Cleaning Program, which is basically built on the same, same framework that we did when we put the HCT program together. But the idea was that we needed a program that was online, that is accessible to the masses, and it was really easy for, for, for us as cleaning business owners to, to, to give to all of our cleaning professionals. So why do we want to do a training program like PHC? I mean, training is huge. That's how people learn to be productive. It's learn how do they, they learn how to be safe. Uh, you get 
better employee retention and better employee engagement. Because what happens is, you know, we, we train people and we give them a sense of the why behind a lot of the things that we're doing and they understand how to execute better and they start seeing their job as something more than a task. We, 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 we help them to see that it's actually a profession and can be if we apply our, our, ourselves to it. That's a big part of, of, of what we do in this program. Um, we make it easy. You know, it's affordable, it's accessible because it's online and the whole program takes about eight hours, but broken down into small pieces and your, your cleaning professionals can log in when it's convenient to them and take the class one piece at a time over a period of time. It's got a company portal. Each company can set up and manage their own cleaning professionals where you can enroll your own people and see their progress and coach them through it. It's self-paced. So somebody's got an extra half hour here, an extra 15 minutes there. They can log in and do do a piece of it. And more importantly, it's sustainable. We talk about training, but oftentimes we don't do it. And even with all good intent, when we try to do it, we set up a program and we start doing it. And then something happens and somebody quits and or we're short of help and we have to cut corners and then some other problem happens. And then six months later, we look up and say, whatever happened to that training that we were supposed to be doing? Well, this fixes all of that because when you sign up new new cleaning professionals when you hire new people this can just be part of the the onboarding process that you can give them a seat in the class and set some expectation that over the next 30 days i want you to complete this program and then you know you can you can monitor their progress but you're not even having to do it anymore they're they're, they're doing it on their own if you want to know more about the program you can go to moderncleaning.com you know, we've got more information, what it's about and, and why it's important. Um, there's seven classes in the program. The classes are broken down in the modules. So it's all, you know, bite size. Uh, there's the if you're buying one seat, it's ninety nine dollars. But the good news is you buy multiple seats and there's volume discounts. Um, you buy these seats. They're good for an entire year. So you've got a year to use them. You get your own company portal. Really important because you are participating in the May Service Success Summit. We have a discount code specifically for you at checkout. If you enter MSSS, you get an extra 25% off any volume discount you have for, for your purchase, and you'll have seats and they're good for a year. The discount code, however, expires August 3rd. So if you're going to do this, you need to jump on it before end of day, Monday, August 3rd. We also have a free download with calculators that will take everything that we just talked about here and do the math for you. You need to, and this is an example of the calculator for, 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 for commission, that if you know what your target hourly bill rate is, you know what your average revenue per job is, and you know how to get the average uh, pay rate, target pay rate, we told you how to do the market analysis and go to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, average revenue per job. If you're doing your work measurement, capturing your job times and your uh, clock times, you can, can, can calculate that fairly easily. Your efficiency factor is basically your job times divided by your, your um, clock time. All that's explained over here too. You got those three numbers plugging them, bam, it'll give your, 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 your commissions based on team size. So you get a two person team, each one on the average needs to get 20%, three person team each one 13% based on those numbers. You can get this at cleaningbusinessday.com forward slash calculator. It's a free download. Go get it. That's it. I hope you found this useful. Um, appreciate that you're taking the time to participate in this program. Expanding our knowledge is contributing to the professionalism of the house cleaning industry. And that's a big thing of what we're about. And Everything that we do through Cleaning Business Today and Modern Cleaning and Cleaning Business Builders and just all the work over the years. So much appreciate that. Um, much success in the future and good luck with the rest of uh, your, your uh, commitment to the Mage Service Success Summit.